Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I got a little into it today. What can I say? I'm kind of a fan of Disney, let alone Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> so when I saw that Lorac was collabing with Disney on the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie, I freaking lost it. When I first saw the announcement that this palette was coming out, I freaked. And I knew I I knew I had to get this collection. Like I had to. It is not even negotiable for me. This has to be mine. <laughs> My family and I are huge Disney fanatics, and we go to Disney like at least once, sometimes twice, sometimes three times a year. We love it. We love Pirates. Pirates is always a must have. And like, we went, we were just in Disneyland in February, and Pirates was closed. And it was very, very devastating. <laughs> For us, that was so sad. And then, like, a couple of days ago, I see all over social media that Johnny Depp was actually on the ride playing Jack Sparrow. Why can't I ever be there when this kind of stuff happens? I mean, come on. I probably would have died and gone to heaven right there on the spot if I was on the ride and Johnny Depp was there. It would have made my life. But I wasn't, so whatever. I always miss the good stuff. <laughs> So today I had to channel my inner Jack Sparrow S <laughs> to bring you this video and what's this behind me above my right shoulder? Do you see that? Like do you see that right there? I mean all my pirate gear but what is that? That's be my pirate's chest. Do you want to see what is inside my pirate's chest? And look at that. What's up, Jack? All right, you want to see what is in my pirate's chest? Let's go ahead and see. Look at that. It's the Lorac Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales collection. I have the cheek palette, the eyeshadow palette, and then one of the lipsticks and lip glosses. And because I know you want to see my pirate's chest, look at all that pirate booty. All right, you guys, so this is the palette. It freaking looks like a treasure chest. Yeah, it's pretty freaking awesome and legit. When this came in the mail, I was screaming when it got here. I, when I opened it, I was so excited. I was so excited to get this. Strictly for the packaging alone, it's freaking bomb. Like, if I just have this sitting out on my vanity forever and like I don't ever use it, I'm fine. Totally fine with it. Because look how awesome this is. It's pretty thick, as you can see. It says, Pirates of the Caribbean. Dead Men Tell No Tales. On this side, it says Guided by the Stars, Lorac. On the top, it says Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, Treasure in the Stars, Lorac, Los Angeles. And then on this side, it says Unchanted Brilliance. And what's that? It's got a tab. I can grab it. <laughs> and look at that, you guys. <gasps> the Cheek Palette fits perfectly inside it. How freaking cool is that? Like, shut up. Sorry, take all my money. I'm done. I I'm done. <laughs> so on the cheek palette, it says Verum Omnia Simul Astaria. I am totally butchering that. It's Latin. I've never taken Latin. So do not judge me. But apparently what that means um, according to, you know, the master of the universe, know-it-all, Google, it means, but they direct all the stars at the same time. So when you open it up, this is the setup. There's a huge mirror, and you can see all my stuff. Hi! <laughs> and there's the shadows. has a 
clear protector sheet that says Lorac on it. So we're just gonna put that to the side there. It does come with an eyeliner pencil and this one is in the color, um, just black. Cool. <laughs> so it does come with 18 shadows, all of which have pirate names like Hello, Treasure, Tail No Tales, Black Pearl, Yoho. Yep, I'm sold. <laughs> so that's the inside of that one. Now for the cheek palette. Here is the inside of the cheek palette. And see the protector? Hopefully, I hope it shows up. But it has like, um, like half moons and stuff. So, again, must have something to do with the movie pretty dang cool and then on the mirror it says chart a course for the stars I'm getting stars is a big theme in the new movie and then it comes with six different colors um, this one's a good contour color you got some good cheek colors for blushes and then three different like highlighting shades and they these three are shimmery and then they also came out with some lip products um, this is one of them. I purchased the color Trident. Um, and one side, this side is the lipstick, and this side is a lip gloss. And if you turn it, you see it says Pirates of the Caribbean. And then on this side, it also has a mirror. So when you um, are on the go and you need to apply it, you can still see. I still have the protector sheet on it, just because I don't want it to get damaged. But on this side, and I like that it's a little tough to open because I don't want it to open in my purse. Um, is the lipstick. It's just a really pretty nude color. And then on this side is the lip gloss. So cool. Such a cool idea. Alright you guys, here is the swatches. This is the first row. And I'm going to go left to right on each row. So the first one is Ghostly, Starry Night, Compass, R, Black Pearl, and Yoho. All right, now on to the second row. First, we have Bones, Silver Mist, Treasure, Tail No Tales, Shiver Me and Cursed, and you can see Cursed, it ha it's like a matte black with some glitter in it, so it's super pretty, I don't have anything like that. Walk the plank. Okay, so here's the last row, this one is Matty, Matey, not sure how they're pronouncing it, um, Lost at Sea, Pirate's Chest, Sea Haze, Menace, and Silent Mary. So now onto the cheek palette. The first one is Fortune, Destined, Star Reader, Lost Soul, Caribbean, and bold spirit. So do I think this palette is worth it? I mean, maybe I'm biased because I am a huge pirate fan, but I think the quality of the shadows and um, the shimmers, the mattes, everything, they are so great and it's so different from all the other palettes that I have. Like these colors have me so inspired to create all sorts of different looks for you. I will create another look for you that's, you know, not a pirate look that's more of like an everyday look using this palette um, so keep your eyes peeled for that one but yeah I think it's worth it I mean at first I started with just the eyeshadow palette and then once I got it and I was so excited for it and I fell in love with it I ran out and I had to get the cheek palette and the lipstick just to just to finish it off but I don't think that you'll be disappointed if you get this palette or this collection. They are so cool. It's so different than anything else that is out there in stores right now. So that is another reason why I 
justified it. So the, pa the eyeshadow palette is 52. That is more expensive than all their other palettes. I know you can get the Pro palette for like somewhere between 50 or 60 bucks and that comes with a ton more shadows than this one does come with. But I think where you're paying for this one is you are paying for the packaging. It is way bulkier than anything else and super cool how it has like the treasure chest option. So the cheek palette is $30. You do get six shades in here. That is $5 per shade. And then the lips, uh, the lipsticks and glosses, those are $26. And you do get a lipstick and a gloss where, you know, if you're buying like any of the other lipsticks or lip glosses, you're paying pretty similar price and only getting a gloss or a lipstick or a lip, liquid lipstick, you know, so and it does have the mirror on it, so that is really cool as well. All right, so I'm gonna start off with my face done, and I am going to bake because I am doing a Jack Sparrow-esque smoky eye. It is a wearable smoky eye, but this is just the RCMA No Color Powder mixed with my Ben Nye Banana Powder, and here is the palette. I probably don't need to say my thoughts on this anymore because I'm probably bugging you guys. <laughs> but I am going to start by taking my Morphe M124 brush, and I am going to mix the colors Matty, Matey, however you say it, and the color Ghostly. And I am going to use this as my brow bone highlight. Now grabbing my Morphe M441 brush, I'm going to mix the colors Bones and Pirate's Chest. And I am going to use this as my transition shade and just buff that into my upper crease. No Jack Sparrow look would be complete without the eyeliner, right? <laughs> so I'm just gonna messily, messily line my eyes with this. And then I'm just gonna take this rubber smudge brush. It's not even a brush, it's just a rubber tip. And I'm just gonna smudge that out. You could honestly just use like a Q-tip for this or even your finger if you don't care. And now I'm just gonna take the color Tail No Tails and this large soft dome brush. It's not from any specific company. Um, and I'm just going to messily put this all over my lid. I'm just not going to go super high with this color. And then with that same brush, I am going to pick up Black Pearl. It's that really pretty, uh, like, blue-brown um, duochrome color. Super pretty. And then I'm just going to grab this eyeshadow brush, and I'm going to take the color Cursed. It's that matte black with the sparkles in it, and I'm going to put that right there at my lash line and blend them together. And here I'm just going back in with that large soft dome brush and making sure that they are blended together. Now I'm just going to buff away my bake, and this is my M438 um, brush. Now taking my Morphe M431, it's just a pencil brush and the color Pirate's Chest, I'm going to just start working on my lower lash line and we're going to build it up here. Next I'm going to take Tail No Tails, same brush, again just building up the intensity and now grabbing that black eyeliner, again building up that intensity. we got to go for that classic Jack Sparrow-esque look. <laughs> Now I'm just grabbing Black Pearl and this smudge brush and I'm just going to kind of set that black liner into place again, just adding more dimension and going for that classic look. Now for mascara, this is my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes mascara, again like my absolute favorite mascara right now. Now I'm just gonna apply some lashes real quick. These are Ardell Wispies. Holy Grail lashes always, they will never go away. <laughs> oh, and what's this on the side of my treasure chest eyeshadow palette? <laughs> it is the cheek palette, you guys. I will never get tired of this feature. Like, I feel like a little kid. Now to contour, I'm going to grab the color Lost Soul and my Morphe M523 brush and I am going to use this for my contour and just start building up those pirate cheekbones. Hey, 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 hey. 
And for the sake of the costume, I am going to grab my NYX uh, taupe blush and just deepen up that contour since it is such a cool tone color. I feel like it will go perfect for the pirate look and this is just my NARS Eda brush and I'm going to use that to contour my nose. And this is my NARS Yoshaki brush and I'm just gonna take the color Caribbean and I'm going to use that as my blush and buff it all over my cheeks. And then I'm going to grab the color Bold Spirit, put it over that blush just to give it an extra oomph. <laughs> now grabbing my Morphe M501 brush, I am going to take the color Fortune and I am going to use that as my highlight today. I'm just put that all over my upper cheeks, yep. Pretty blinding still. And then this is my Morphe um, M149 brush, and I'm just gonna use that same color and just take it down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, on my tear ducts, and then on my brow bone as well. And then now onto lips, I am going to grab my lipstick lip gloss duo from the collection in the color Trident. And I am going to start off with the lipstick, of course. Just put that all over them lips. <laughs> And then onto the lip gloss, I am going to try to do like a highlight technique here and just put this on the center of my upper and lower lip. And then that is it. Our Jack Sparrow look is complete. <laughs> So that is it for me today, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I sure had a lot of fun filming this one for you, obviously. Like I said, I'm a huge Pirates fan. Um, and I got to wear like my Pirates costume again, which I love. So cute! Anyways, <laughs> this is a costume that I wore at Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party at Disneyland. Um, my husband, who was my boyfriend then, uh, we went to the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party and we went as pirates, so I had to suit up, you know? <laughs> if you like this video, go ahead and give it a big ol' thumbs up, leave any comments, questions, requests, whatever down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Well, hello, Jack. We made again.
freak. <laughs> yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. Please don't judge me. I just love it. <laughs> <laughs>